Hey gang, GMapper14 Tech Reviews here, and I normally just do tech reviews, but today I thought I'd show you my humongous library of books that I have in my room. So first we'll start off over here, I have the Donald Duck and Uncle Scrooge uh, color comic book collections, which I really, really love. I buy every one that comes out, and I cannot wait for the next Donald Duck to come out. I don't know when the next Uncle Scrooge is, but I can't wait for that one either. Over here, I have three Michael Christian books. I have State of Fear, Lost World, Jurassic Park. I love both Jurassic Park books. They are amazing. First one is better, but both of them way better than anything. I thought the movies are great, and I, I love the books. So over here, I have my Star Wars section. It goes all the way from over here, all the way over here. A lot of Star Wars books. I have Heir to the Empire by Timothy Zahn. I have Star Wars Knight Errant, which is a pretty good book. I have Star Wars Scourge. Haven't read that one yet. Star Wars Imperial Commando 501st Legion, Star Wars Order 66, Star Wars The Three Republic Commando Books, Star Wars The Choices of One, just got the paperback of that one, whoops, by Timothy Zahn as well, and then I have George Lucas's original Star Wars book and paperback, got that at half price, still haven't read that yet, pretty cool, uh, Star Wars X-Wing Mercy Kill, Star Wars The Force Unleashed 1 and 2, both amazing books. I really wish they would make these into movies because the books are amazing. The character development, just everything. Star Wars Darth Plagueis, Plagueis or however you say that. Still haven't finished reading that one yet. Uh, so far, so good, and I just love the cover. Uh, Star Wars The Old Republic Fatal Alliance, amazing book. I want to buy the other ones in hardback because, you know, I want to have the whole series in hardback, but it's pretty awesome. I have Star Wars Heir to the Empire, uh, the anniversary edition. That's pretty fancy with a narrative from Timothy Zahn throughout the book. Still haven't read that one, uh, Heir to the Empire, but can't wait to do that. Star Wars A New Hope by George Lucas. It's the hardback edition of the paperback. Now I have here Michael Christian's and Richard Preston's Micro. It's the book that he didn't get to finish before Michael Christian died. So that one, I haven't read that either. Over here, Star Wars, The Essential Reader's Companion. It has every Star Wars book in here in detailed facts, timelines, everything. And so it helps me organize all these pretty much. Over here, I have Star Wars and History. It's a new book. It compares our history with Star Wars and interloops them together. So you got real historical facts and Star Wars facts. Comparing, like, um, a dictator, like, um, you know, you know, it compares dictators of our time to, like, Palpatine and stuff like that. And it's it's pretty interesting. Okay, we pan over here. And here I have my C.S. Lewis section. A lot of C.S. Lewis books. Over here I have C.S. Lewis, Yours Jack, Letters from Him. C.S. Lewis Bible. It's got a lot of cool facts along with it. I really like this because you could be studying something for my... For, I take theology and I'm studying something and it's got uh, quotes right next to the verse, which is really cool. C.S. Lewis Mere Christianity Journal. I have not used this because I really don't want to, you know, uh, use the journal, but I really think it's cool and really nice build quality. It sounds like something you'd say about a phone or something. Here are the two out of the three collected editions of the C.S. Lewis letters. I don't have a third one and no... Just if you were wondering, I have not read the entirety of these books. I haven't even read barely a dent in them because there's so much, so many letters. Companion in Narnia, amazing book. You can see all the uh, notes I have to that one. I have The Dark Tower. It's a short story continuation of the Space Trilogy by C.S. Lewis. Amazing. Wish you would have finished it. Lots of other great stories in here. Surprised by Joy, his own uh, autobiography. Haven't read that one. The Strength, Paralandra, and Out of the Silent Planet, all by C.S. Lewis. All sci-fi. Love Every single one of them. Haven't finished The Hideous Strength yet, but these two were just amazing. Abolition of Man, haven't read that. Grief Observed, have read that one. I have The Great Divorce, I have The Problem of Pain, Miracles, Mere Christianity, The Screwtape Letters, The Weight of Glory, and The Illustrated Screwtape Letters. I also have some Tolkien over here. I have The Silmarillion, The Hobbit, and The Three um, Lord of the Rings books. I also have The Languages of Middle-Earth. I have Bilbo's Last Song by J.R.R. Tolkien and C.S. Lewis's Letters to Children right there. We move on over here. Here's my Shakespeare section. I have all of the Yale annotated Shakespeare books. The Merchant of Venice, well, you pretty, you know all the Shakespeare books, but I'll just go. I have Merchant of Venice, Taming of the Shrew, Midsummer's Night Dream, Macbeth, The Tempest, Romeo and Juliet, Twelfth Night, Hamlet, King Lear, Julius Caesar, Anthony and, Ke Anthony and Cleopatra, Henry the Fourth, Part One. They did not make a Part Two from Yale, which is a little weird to me, but I wish they did. Richard the Third and Othello. I have read some of these, not all of them. Hamlet. I just I like the covers on these editions. They're just really, really well done, and the quality of the books is great. 
So over here we have King Arthur and his Knights of the Round Table. Read that a long time ago. Found it half price, bought it so I could keep it in my collection. Charlotte's Boy by Jonathan Rogers. If you're watching this, Jonathan, love your books. Got all of them. Really dis uh, sad that you have not. He said this was coming out two years ago, the sequel, and he still hasn't done it. So if you're watching this, write the sequel. I also have these three, which are out of print now. You can buy them as ebooks. I suggest buying them as ebooks, or because it's like a hundred bucks for one of these now, because they were, they're just amazing and they're out of print, sadly. So please make them in print again. I love these books, just amazing, uh, amazing books. The Wizard of Menlo Park. It's a auto. It's a. It's a not an autobiography. It's a biography about obviously uh, Thomas Edison. I have the portable Abraham Lincoln. Some of his letters and speeches. Uh, the Iliad by Robert Fagel, translated. I just read that this last year, 2012, for my school. We have Plato, The Republic. I have Arthur Miller, Death of a Salesman, great play. John Steinbeck, Once There Was a War. John Steinbeck, The Log from the Sea of Cortez. I'm sorry if this is blurry. My uh, phone's autofocus isn't that good. Over here we have John Steinbeck. We have the, I forgot what these are called, uh, the Centennial Editions. I have The Pearl of Mice and Men, Canary Row, Travels, with Charlie in Search of America and East of Eden. I've read all these except East of Eden. I love all of John Steinbeck's books. He's just an amazing writer. I think my favorite would have to be Charlie. The and oh, actually, I just they're all awesome. So just all of them, and almost all of these books except like a few in between. Almost all of these were bought at Borders, and I just love my local Borders. I'm really sad that it had to go. Like for example, all of these here except maybe two were not bought at Borders. So all these were bought at Borders, excuse me. So I have Sherlock Holmes, The Complete uh, Novels and Stories, Part Volume 1 and Volume 2. Haven't even put a dent in these things. Really need to start reading them. I have Herman Melville, Moby Dick. Really boring? <laughs> I was thought it would be a lot better, but, you know. Oh, and by the way, if you haven't noticed a trend, I like to buy the same brand of sections of books because I like how the f it flows together these are all the same brand here. These are all the same brand here. You know, I just like how that goes. So anyways, we have Robinson Crusoe, a Connecticut Yankee in King Arthur's Court. We have The Hunchback of Notre Dame, Around the World in 80 Days, The Communist Manifesto, The Federalist Papers, The Declaration of Independence, and The Constitution of the United States, The Death of Ivan Illich, Great Story, The Island of Dr. Maru, Moreau, Awesome Book, the Invisible Man, Love It, Dr. Jekyll and Mr. Hyde, Amazing Book, I, Robot, Haven't Read It Yet. Theogony and Hesiod, the, the work in, the, I read the Theogony for school. Very interesting. Uh, I love Greek myths, so that was fun. Then we have Paris in the 20th Century. Love this book. It is the lost novel of Jules Verne. Amazing book. I highly suggest going and buying it, or at least seeing if your uh, library has it. Dante's Inferno. Haven't finished reading this yet, but so far, great. Paradise Lost, John Milton. Selected Stories of H.G. Wells. Every one of them is a gem. I love every single book story in here. The Basic Works of Aristotle, Humongous. Yeah, I've read this whole thing. No, I'm joking. It's extremely thick. I have not read it. It's so thick that on paperback it warps right here into a dent. And all these, like I said, was bought at Borders. Tono Bungay. Uh, if you can't read this one because of the horrible blurring, this is The Time Machine by H.G. Wells. I have The Warden by Anthony Troplo. <laughs> Selected Dialogues of Plato, The Civilization of in, of the Renaissance in Italy, and Gods and Heroes, Myths Told by the Ancient Greeks. So that's all these books right here. That's a lot. I love my books. And over here, I have my other books. So we're going to take a look over here. These are my other bookshelf. At the top row, if you can see it, watch my finger here. This is Rick Riordan book. All the way to right here, Rick Riordan books. I have every single one, all in hardback. Love if yeah, I really don't like him as an author. Obviously, that's why I have so many of his books. Um, over here we have Percy Jackson Demigod Diaries. I have the Demigod Diaries for the Il Heroes of Olympus, King Chronicles Survival Guide, Peter Percy Jackson <laughs> Peter Jackson Percy Jackson the Ultimate Guide. I have the Lightning Thief, the Sea of Monsters, Titans Curse, Battle of the Labyrinth, and the Last Olympian. All the series, amazing books. Lost Hero, Son of Neptune. I have two of these because one of them is autographed by Rick Riordan. I picked that up at Barnes & Noble. They had it uh, as an autographed copy. It's awesome. I love having two. And then The Mark of Athena. Still haven't read this yet. Red Pyramid, The Throne of Fire. These are the Kane Chronicle books. Third one, haven't read yet. I really need to. Peter and Starcatcher series. All of them, including the new Bridge to Neverland. Loved all of the books. 
kind of disappointed in this one because it's really sad how they jump so far ahead, and I really liked it this way. The cliffhanger of these books, each one made me really sad. I just amazing book series. I highly suggest it. They're huge, and you wish they never ended. Even though, you know, I have almost all of the ology series. I have oceanology, Egyptology, and I say almost all of them. They're not all up here. I ran out of bookshelf space, so <clears throat> I have pirateology, wizardology. Dragonology. I don't have Dragonology, but I have almost all the other ones. Here's the Beatrix Potter Journal. <clears throat> I have the Knight, a guide for young squires. I have the Explorer, a daring guide for young adventurers. Uh, I went through a phase of buying all the fancy Candlewick books, Candlewick Press. So that's why I have all the ologies and stuff. <clears throat> I have all the ology companions right here to match each one of the ones that I have in hardback up above. I have the Young Bond series. All of them. Loved every single one. Creepy. Very creepy, but I really liked him and wish he would come out the new series. This is Samuel Schiller. He is a little... I, I hope he's famous, you know, more known, but I haven't heard much about him except from what I've read. The, all of his books so far are amazing. He's come out with two new ones, one new one, and uh, love all of his books. Great series. Uh, creepy goblins and everything. It's great. Uh, Nutcracker. Great uh, version. Got this from Barnes & Noble a long time ago. Uh, then we have some books about writing over here. Lose on First. It's about, uh, obviously, Blue Costello. Love the movies, everything. Love his... Auto, it, it's by his daughter. I, I love his the book. It's just amazing, learning about his life. James Glight, Chaos. I keep telling myself I'm going to finish this, and I never do. I really want to because it's a really interesting topic that I got from the Jurassic Park books. J uh, this is Imagine. about the. It's about the imagination. I haven't read that either. Uh, Me, Myself, and Bob, one of my most favorite books ever, the autobiography of Phil Vischer and his story of VeggieTales. Sounds kind of lame, but it's not. This is Herman Cain, Herman Cain's book. I really I really like this guy, and I wish he you know, would have made it farther, farther and the scandal wouldn't have gone the way it was, but I even bought an autographed copy of the book in limited number, and it's somewhere in my closet. Uh, it's safely, not all mashed up. I got a psychology book. Uh, for dramatic writing, I have Accents, a manual for actors, Escape from Alcatraz, amazing book, worth the buy. The Last Tsar, talking about the, uh, the life and death of Nicholas II, haven't finished reading this, so far so good. Climb to Conquer, don't know about that one. Story, Robert McKee, it's all about writing stories, a lot of writing books in here, awesome book. Dinosaurs, pictures of every dinosaur, hey, great quality, not a kid's book, of course, because of the, you know. And then, here's The Lightning Thief, limited edition. Special edition in box. Got that one right there. Uh, it used to be up here, but I ran out of space. I'm almost done here. Here's all my Hardy Boy books. Here are all my uh, Adventures in Odyssey Paul McCusker books. This series is amazing. It is the uh, Passages series. Love every single one of them. All behind here is Hardy Boys. Here are some random books. Here is the Invention of Hugo Cabret. Wonderstruck. Have not read this yet. Space Opera Renaissance. A bunch of random Space opera books. I love this thing. It's amazing. It's got a bunch of random stories. All of them are just beautiful. Great works of literature. Okay, uh, I have Finding Noel back there. A uh, good Christmas book. Got it autographed by the guy. Over here, I have some magic books. Went through a phase of learning magic tricks. I have a bunch of books behind there. Some John Grisham. Some Jurassic Park special editions. I have the Peter and the Starcatchers paperback. I read them in paperback and then bought the hardback set when I found it. And then here's paperback of Rick Riordan's Lightning Thief, even more books. Uh, don't know why I have the paperback. I guess I was going to give it away, and I never did. Sophie's World, weird book. It's good. I have the Greek New Testament. Don't ask me why. I have the landmark uh, Xenophonians Hellenica. I have the landmark Herodotus, Herodotus, strange. And the landmark Thysicus. Okay, if you want good Greek history books, all these are amazing. Great quality. Really expensive, actually, but... It'll be great. Then arithmetic, and of course, no collection would be complete without some Wishbone original books from, you know, Wishbone. And then a German comic book of Walt Disney's comics. So I really like Disney comics. Got Narnia back there. Of course, no C.S. Lewis collection would be complete without Narnia. And that is about it. Bunch of books hidden around my room. But I hope you enjoyed this tour of my gigantic library. Oh, and to show you how much I love Borders, before they close down, I have a the front wood door pressing thing that you press to get in the door. And I got a bunch of Borders memorabilia. So, maybe I'll do a video about that later. 
All right, hope you guys enjoy. Have any questions about my library or where to get any of these amazing books or any uh, questions about them, send me a message. Maybe you watch this video. Maybe this will never have any views. But I hope you enjoy it. Please like my videos and watch my tech reviews. Adios.